What's up everybody, Jackie D here, and I'm going to be starting my new series on one of my favorite survival games, uh, single player survival games that is, and it's called Don't Starve, but this, but uh, right now we're going to be doing Don't Starve Reign of Giants, man, and I haven't really played this uh, too much, um, I probably played maybe half of a, a, a season on it, not even, not a season, but, well you know what I mean, <laughs> anyways man. Uh, Don't Starve, Reign of Giants, okay, if anybody's uh, heard of Don't Starve, it's a, like I said, a single player um, survival game uh, with the, some kind of Tim Burton-ish, you know, uh, graphics, man, it's a really fun game, man, I really enjoy it, and I suggest you guys go pick it up, man, if you can, um, it's probably like $15 on uh, Steam, uh, but you can get that whenever it comes on sale, it comes on sale all the time for like $5, man, and I mean, it's a great game to have. And uh, I'm going to be doing a start in a series on that. Just kind of shine away from uh, my normal uh, stuff, you know, like Battlefield 4, you know, all that first person shooter stuff and all the first person things like Seven Days to Die. So this is going to be like a, like a 2D um, game. But anyways, enough of my blabbering and my ranting on, rambling on. So let's uh, get into it, man. Um, let's go into play. Some play, play, play. And these are all my old games from all the old Don't Starves. I even went up to, you know, 129 using Woody. Um, this is, see, look at it. I only went to like day 42 on, on, uh, on, uh, this, uh, ROG, you know, I mean, Reign of Giants. So let's start a new game and let's go into the character. I love Wilson. Wilson's like one of my favorite color characters. Um, he's pretty much the balance of it. I've got other characters on this game too. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what uh, characters they have. We have uh, the fire starter, which is uh, Willow, and uh, basically she has she's immune to fire damage and has like a lighter, so we ain't gotta worry about building torches and things with her. Um, she lights fires whenever she's nervous. Uh, I haven't really played with her. And the strong man, he gets stronger with a full belly, and he's very afraid of the dark and uh, monsters, you know. And I, I don't know, I, I kind of want to play as him just because uh, I never really played it as him. As him. Um, let's see, who's next? Wendy, the bereaved, or bereaved, or whatever you, I already say that. Anyways, says, Abigail, come back. I'm not done playing with you. Basically, she's haunted by her twin sister. She's comfortable when it's dark, and she doesn't really hit hard. We need somebody that hits hard. Maybe we will be the strong man. And uh, this guy here, the soulless automaton, uh, the WX-78, never been played as him, maybe in another series, man. Uh, not a picky eater, charged by lightning, damaged by water. So when it rains, we're screwed, and I hear it rains a lot in Reign of Giants. Uh, can upgrade with gears. Cool. Okay, and this is uh, Wicker Bottom, the librarian. Uh, she knows many things, she self-publishes books, and she can't sleep and hates spoilage, okay? I really don't want to be this lady, she kind of gives me the creeps. <laughs> and Woody, he is our lumberjack. Uh, he has a lovely axe and a terrible secret. Basically, his secret is he turns into a beaver, okay? <laughs> he turns into the beaver when it's a, um, when it turns into a full moon. And kind of like how the pigs turn into wear pigs, you know, during the full moon. It's kind of easy mode, I think, because he starts off with a an axe that never breaks. But uh, and this is an unknown. I need to unlock some of these characters, and to do that, I have to probably do the uh, story mode. Who is this? Wigfried, the performance artist, excels in battle, gains power from fallen foes, and only eats meat. Well, I don't know who that is. Don't know who you are, Spider Face. So let's see who we should be, man. I'm kind of drawn, you know, kind of torn between uh, the strong man and Woody. This guy kind of gets scared at night, though I think. But uh, he does do more damage when his belly is full. Um, kind of like Woody because he grows that magnificent beard and uh, keeps you warm uh, during the winter. Um, let's see. I think, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll probably just do this this season just as Wilson, man, just because I, I like Wilson, and I want to I wanna make this season last, and maybe next season uh, I'll, I'll do uh, uh, the strong man, or I might in the middle of it switch, I think you can still do that, anyways, let's get into it, man, 
We're going to start a new game. Generating world. I really like this game, man. I mean, I'm going to... If you guys haven't seen it, you're going to be really impressed with it. And, like I said, I haven't uh, played Reign of Giants uh, that much. But I know there's uh, four, uh, four seasons. You know, you got, like, uh, fall, winter, spring, and summer, which is really hot. So, basically, I think the, the start... Um, I think summer is going to be the next uh, season, which gets really hot. So, we're going to be preparing for that. Say, pal, you don't look so good. Yeah, you don't look so good either. You're like a stick figure. You, you better find something to eat and before it gets dark. Oh, look at this. Look where they uh, spawned us in. And... My controls are not working for some reason. No, I can't move. Hang on, hang on real a second, folks. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, everybody. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, back to uh, look where we spawned at. Look, we already spawned next to uh, our little uh, touchstone here. Basically, you touch that, activate that. That's going to give you a new life because when you die, uh, you are permanently dead and the game is over. So, ooh, my, the volume is so loud on this game. I need to turn it down. Turn it down. All right. Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pick up some of these flowers. We need to look, and I'm already next to uh, some uh, grass uh, fields here. Well, hay fields. And which is good, it's a good sign because uh, maybe there might be some beefalo around here. I do see some rabbit holes, and rabbit holes means uh, food. If I catch some rabbits, so we're getting all these resources here on our first day, day one. I like to pick a little bit of flowers, grab all the resources I can, like these twigs here, and we'll get some flint, get lucky, and get some flint because. I hear flint is not, um, it's kind of hard to find around here. It's not easy to find is what I was going to say, but it is hard to find. And, but I have already a lot of twigs, so that's good. Let's go down here and see if we've got some berries. Oh, look, I don't even need a flint because there's an axe here. And look at this world that I've already uh, come across. Um, we get logs already. I am so lucky. This is probably the luckiest I've ever been in this game. Got myself an axe and didn't even have to craft it. Believe that. So we will have to craft, craft a, a pickaxe though. Oh man, it's already getting dark. What the fish, man. I gotta re remember um, the differences in this game than it is in the other one. Is uh, the seasons and I... Don't know what season's coming next, so we're gonna have to prepare for. Oh, there's some flint. Oh, the Karakazi turkey went out there. Grab some more hay because we're gonna make some clothes. All these twigs, I love it. I love it. Might be a good starting base just right here. Uh, basically, and, and don't start. What you want to do is uh, go ahead and grab some food and. Grab flint, resources, and things like that. And you want to, like, uh, explore as much as you can so you know where everything is. Lots of berries. Lots of twigs. Alright. They got a lot of food here. Already. Oh, some more twigs. Basically, what I'm doing here is by gathering resources and exploring a little bit. I'm gonna find my uh, way around. Uh, my way around. Oh, anyways, because if you bring up your map, which is I think um, is the tab key. Yeah, tab key. This right here shows you uh, where you're at and what you've explored. And right now I'm in these uh, whatever kind of trees these are. I don't know birch trees. They look like birch birch trees. I guess that you would call them that. Oh, flint. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I wonder if I can craft a hammer already. Um, 
a couple of rocks I need with the hammer. I can craft me a pickaxe, though. That's what we're going to do. Craft a pickaxe. So in case we run into some rocks. Because I'm going to need some rocks uh, to craft a hammer. Because uh, since I found that little touch stone, I'll show you about that later. Look at these trees. These trees are awesome looking in, in, in the Reign of Giants. Look at this thing. Wow. It looks so depressing. <laughs> These trees look really depressing. Okay. Man, there's so many resources here, man. I got a lucky spawn over here. Oh, what's over there? Oh, I see some rocks over there already, folks. Let me see if I can find a way over there. Doesn't appear to be one this way yet. Oh, wow. And if you look up here, this is, uh, got your health meter, you got your uh, insanity uh, meter, for those who haven't played this before. Uh, by the way, I'm using a mod for this uh, status plus, I think it is. Um, basically, it, it's, it's a lot better than the default uh, health monitor and insanity monitor and, uh, and a, uh, my temperature gauge and then also your wet gauge. Oh, what? is this you know um i think this here if i open up any of this it's going to turn it into a winner right away and i don't think i want to do that just yet and i think uh you know what it is about to get night time so we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a fire really fast and cook up our stuff because we do not want the night monster to get us. Now, for those that are new to the game and never seen this before, if you are in the dark and you haven't made a fire or have a torch or anything like that, there is a night monster that will come and uh, hit you until you're dead. It's going to kill you, basically. And let's go ahead and this. Yeah. I got a lot of food there. Go ahead and eat these roasted berries up. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and get our uh, stomach nice and full for the night. And I'm thinking, uh, I think we'll go up over here, make sure, see if there's any beefalo over here. And if there is, I just might make myself a base around here pretty soon. And they are tempting me with that ice box over there, you know, because uh, having a fridge is what you want to have um, so that your food doesn't spoil obviously yep so right now we're just gonna go ahead and wait this out I wanna get a, uh, a hammer made and I'm gonna take out these pig heads because they drop pig skin and you can make armor with pig skin actually I think I could probably craft some armor um, well not right now I'll have to make a science machine basically I'm gonna so I'm gonna go over like a few things and oh. Should like that bad boy back up. It was getting a little puny. I'm gonna show you the the basics of this game in day one. It's a lot of gathering, and then we will choose. Uh oh. See, I told you about the rain. Stinking rain. What do we have for survival about the rain? An umbrella. Oh great! I could have made me a little umbrella. Oh, that's what we can make with the pig skin, too. Oh, look at that. But I'm going to need me some uh, some webs. We get that from the spiders. See how I'm doing on my time here. Um, will this go out before... Oh, no. The sun's wire. Here we go, son. Now, in this game, in the Reign of Giants, being covered in the rain is bad uh, your stuff will get soaked become waterlogged and you will not be able to use it so I'm gonna have to get me a parcel pretty soon here and uh, where is it yeah I just need more one more flower to pick that up oh flint very nice very nice more stuff twigs more twigs and more grass this is good let's see where uh, 
there's any beefalo around here. Oh, rocks. I see rocks. Very nice. Okay, now I can make me a hammer. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Bam! Hammer. Why would I need... I don't know why I would need that... Why well, I need grass to make a hammer. What is that all about? Maybe for the handle? I don't know. Oh, there's a... Uh, this down here is a mine. It'll lead me underground. And uh, there's a lot of creepy crawlers and things like that that are down there. So we're just going to leave those alone. Oh. Lucky find this. We're going to get some gold out of this. We'll go ahead and mine this rock. Bam! And one gold nugget appears. And we're going to use that nugget to build us uh, some of our uh, stations that we need. Like our science machine. Where's all the flowers now? Jeez. We are so lucky in this uh, world spawn, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know what you are, but it's already going to get dark, too. Bam, 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 splash. Okay. Okay. I normally don't pick up the nitrate. I will because I'll show you later if we ever find one of our little friends. Jeez. Rocks. Need lots of rocks. Just want to look up. Look up. I just want to see some. Uh, some beefalo. I want to see beefalo. You know what? Before it gets too dark, I should chop down these trees. Give me some logs. Slog, slog. Alright, let's see what's up here. See, this is just a grass fields. I don't know if there's any beefalo around here. We would be so lucky if we spawn near beefalo. Look at that water house. It uh, makes these little puddles. No. I don't see any. Oh, there's flowers. Can I make? Yeah, I can make a little petty parcel now. So it'll uh keep out the uh keep out the rain a little bit. There you go. So we don't get completely soaked. Maybe flow over. Uh oh. What is this? Lots of flowers. I could probably get marble stone out of that if I beat it down with a hammer. Like I said, we're just going to explore a little bit. See what's around our uh, surroundings. Maybe I'll see some spiders. Um, there's a lot of grass fields. That's a plus. Grass fields, I find, are like the best place to build uh, your base starting out. I just want to find some beefalo. Not that I really need beefalo right now. Um, didn't I say I was going to go get that uh, pig skin? I did. Yeah, not that I really want to uh, find beefalo right away because it's not going to be winter anytime soon. But... Um, I kind of like to be prepared still and know where everything's at. And oh look, this is good. Just found some uh, some beehives. That's always good. I want to know my boundaries too around here. And we're just going to keep running around here. Oh no, I'm getting cold. No! I don't want to get cold. Oh, there's one of those mole worms. 
That's what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and make a fire right here because we're getting cold. And, uh, I don't want to be cold. There we go. A little basic fire. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, stand by this tree and stay warm. Actually, no, I'm going to have to chop it down. <laughs> I'm going to have to get, chop this down because I don't think our fire is going to last us the night. So, I'm going to make that a little bigger. Go ahead and eat, uh, eat up. Oh, look, a blue mushroom. Cool. Okay, we're going to get warm. And we're going to get dry, too. And where's my, uh... Alright. Keep the rain off us a little bit. Maybe, uh... We don't get as wet. And we're trying to dry off. Because if you see, look, all this right here just turned blue. We're starting to get, uh... Waterlogged. So if I... I can make stuff with these... Check our map. Um, wow, we traveled quite a ways already. Cool. I want to go back down over here, though, and uh, get that pig, pig skin. And, you know, I might just put a starting base right there, right next to it, since I'm probably going to be boarding over there uh, if I die. <laughs>